I really did not need this. I don't know why I purchased this. I purchased, let me tell you how many come in here. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Amanda Ensing, and today I am sharing some random things I've purchased on Amazon that I probably don't need. These are all things that I purchased late at night, and then I wake up the next day and I'm like, why did I buy all these things? things the last thing i should be doing right now is spending money period but for some reason buying things just makes me feel a little better i've never done an amazon haul and i buy a lot of things on amazon so i wanted to share with you guys some stuff i got a lot of really great inexpensive stuff um and yeah let's just do it let's do it to it i did put some press on nails finally and i don't know how to act because i've never had nails this long honestly though they are so pretty. <sighs> Real talk, I am realizing how many people I depend on, like getting my hair done, hence why I'm wearing a wig, getting my nails done, all these little first world problems that we have and I'm just like, I'm ready for life to get back to normal. <laughs> on a serious note, I hope you guys are staying safe and well. Be careful, social distance. Please, if you can stay home, stay home. I am praying for all of you guys and thinking of all of you and sending you all of my love. And as always, a huge shout out to all of our healthcare, law enforcement, grocery store workers, and all of the amazing people that are working to keep us safe and risking their lives every single day while we are staying at home. Let's just escape for a little bit, not think about it, and talk about some random I bought on Amazon. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit subscribe down below, please. It would help me out a lot. And also give the video a thumbs up and make sure your post notifications are on. Hit the little bell so you don't miss a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber, my A-team, love you guys so, so much. I have not not had my nails done and I'm not exaggerating for like seven to 10 years. It has been a very long time since I have not had nails on. Nails is something that I love getting done and it just makes me feel like a woman. I love getting my nails done. Whether they're short or long, it doesn't matter. It depends on my mood, but it just makes me feel good. So I had dip on my nails. I'd never done that before. I had like a really short dip that I was hoping to last for a while, but it grew out of course. So I was like, I've got to fix this nail situation. So the first thing I ordered was this drill set. This is from Bure, Germany. I will list everything that I mentioned in this video down below if you guys want to check it out on Amazon. It comes in this little case. Some of these things I've already used, so that's why they're open. So I've already used this because I had to take my dip off. So what I did is I actually soaked my nails in this stuff. I got this at Kroger. And this is a Q-Tex Q -Tex Ultra Powerful Nail Polish Remover with Acetone. I ordered Acetone on Amazon and it's supposed to be here in a few days. And I ordered it like a week and a half, two weeks ago because everything is delayed. So I found that one at Kroger and picked it up. And then I used the drill set and I am not good at nails. I'm not good at painting my nails. I'm not good at anything, anything nails. This was very easy to use and that's saying a lot. And it was not that expensive. It is like a professional nail drill set. It plugs in and you have like one, two, three, four, five, six. There's like eight plus I don't know, there's all the heads that you would see in the salon. And the only thing I had to be careful with is pushing down too hard because it kind of like burned sometimes a little bit because I was pushing too hard on my nail. I actually went to my IGTV tutorials, my nail tutorials that I used to get my nails done. And I was watching how they used to do it. And I literally would just pick like the same insert that I had and use those steps to do it. But there are tons of tutorials on YouTube. Speaking of that, I did order from a Prey and a Prey gel extension set. So depending on how I feel, if I feel risque enough, I might film me trying to do it because that's like legit, legit. These press-ons were already made, so I just had to glue them, but I want to learn how to do them. I'm determined. I also bought a UV light. This is from Diozo. This is um, a professional curing lamp, LED nail lamp. So I bought this the nail drill set, and then I haven't tried this yet, so I don't know if it's good. I also bought this gel nail polish collection from Jelen Fashion, 16 colors, top coat, base coat, 18 piece set, and these are just all nudes. It was like one of the recommended on Amazon, and I feel like I'm always a sucker to try that out. So I bought this because I figured if all else fails, God, please let me be able to just paint my nails. I am the worst at anything nails, even painting my nails. Like, oh my gosh, the thought of painting my right hand because I'm right-handed gives me chills. I haven't opened this up yet. And to be honest with these nails, I don't feel like I can do anything. Please don't let me pop a nail. Oh, they're pretty. 
Oh, cute. Third, just really neutral shades. Grays, nudes, blush, some like grayish tones. I also bought these in the same sitting on my computer late at night. These are to help you soak your nails off so you can like wrap with a cotton ball, the acetone like they do in the salon, and you clamp these on your nails so that it just holds it tight. I'm pretty much building my own salon at home right now. I feel like most of us are. I also bought this callus remover gel that they use at the salons to put on the heels of your feet. I love getting it done because once they put this and they like use the stone, I just feel like your feet are so incredibly soft. And then like you go home and shave and take a shower and you get into like your bed sheets and your feet just feel amazing. So I got this little pumice stone as well to go with the callus remover thingy. <laughs> I also got the cheese grater for your feet. This is what I call it. The thing they like do on your heels. I don't know. I figured my mom gets to come over when this is all done with. She can even use it. My mom has really rough heels. Sorry, mom, I'm like outing you like that. And I feel like my heels get dry too. So this is just, you know, exfoliate your heels. Don't be embarrassed. I also ordered some little nail stands and a nail buffer so I can maybe design the nails on a little stand and then, you know, put them on like these. But I think I'm just really getting ahead of myself and I'm acting like I'm gonna be able to do all of these crazy design things with nails when I suck at nails. But practice makes perfect. I love essential oils. I love my diffusers. I have like three in my house. I am such a scent oriented person. And I think essential oils really do calm me. It's just a feel good self care product for me. I kind of feel like my lash is falling out. I know it's not. I think it's just a wig hair. Okay, sorry, I got distracted. I feel like these were kind of expensive. I got more sucked into the marketing because it's a really cute package. These are from Chesapeake Bay. These are mind and body sets. A lot of my essential oils I ran out of. I usually buy bigger sets. I'll also link them down below. I have opened these up and smelled them already. <laughs> I've been dying to use them, but I've been keeping them in here for you guys. So I'll show you. So the first one I got is the Asleep Relaxation Collection. It comes with a calmness. It has scratch and stiff sniffers. Oh my God. As a calmness, which has geranium, vetiver, and grapefruit. There's an asleep scent, which is just lavender. I love lavender. And then there's a relax, which is lavender, rosemary, and sage. They're just incredible. I can't wait to use these tonight. And then the other one I got is a vitality collection. This is more of a daytime scent because it's very zesty and citrusy and orange. And those are more uplifting, energizing scents. So we have Awake, which is orange, ginger, and tangerine. There is Uplift, which is sweet orange. They smell, so I wish you guys could smell it through the camera. And then Revitalize, which is lemongrass, lime, and peppermint. They smell amazing. These were $17 each, $6 a piece about. The reason I say it's expensive because the ones I usually get that have 14 are $19 and you get 14. These only come with three. I'll keep you guys updated because they smell incredible because they're special blends and they're just very potent so I cannot wait to use them. I got these little shoe stands. They came in a pack of how many? Two? So I got four, I got two packs. I got these to put in my closet so I could put a few of my like cute heels or tennis shoes on stands that I want to be on display. I don't have a ton of room in my closet for display items, but I do want to put like my Chanel sneakers or maybe a Balenciaga sneaker, just something that I spent a lot of money on that I want to like put up on display that's cute. I also purchased some little purse displays, which I'll add a little clip in of what they look like. So one of my bags doesn't stand and I wanted to put some of my bags out because I think it looks really cute. I've never had a closet where I could put bags and shoes up on display to look like super cute. They're like store quality display stands and I think they're totally worth it. I got these little simple houseware. These are closet underwear organizer drawer divider sets because my closet has no drawers. I have a credenza in my bedroom and I have all of that to put like for underwear and bras and all those things. So they each come with four little cubes, one for bras, one for like socks, underwear, that kind of stuff. So hopefully they're cool. I guess we should uh, open one of these up. There are these little cubes, it zips on the bottom and then you can organize everything because my credenza is just like open shelves. So you can put this anywhere you have shelves or you can even put it inside of drawers. By the way, I'm in my bathroom if you haven't noticed. I should have said that earlier and I am making the biggest mess ever. I spent all day organizing and now I've just completely destroyed. <laughs> okay, I bought a ton of underwear. I had looked up reviews to see what people loved. I first got this Amazon Essentials. It's a six pack bikini group. 
or <laughs> I can't talk, bikini brief. They had amazing reviews, so let's open these bad boys up. Okay, these are what they look like. So I got some comfy briefs just for like, you know, quarantine. I ain't trying to impress nobody. They feel soft. I also got them in this color selection, so some more neutrals. You can never have enough comfy bikini underwear. I bought this six pack women's nylon spandex thongs. These had great reviews, especially for workout underwear. I have to work out in either a thong or nothing just because I feel like anything else, like if you got some kind of booty, you cannot work out in bikini boy shorts, at least I cannot. And these were $24 for a six pack. This is what they look like. They feel very high quality. Got a little bit of like a band here to suck in that tummy, some extra support. These were crazy expensive and I only splurged on it because the reviews were it is the best thong in the entire world. And these are from Hanky Panky. So it's a pack of three and it was $50. So compared to spending like between 13 to 25, I was like, dang, these are expensive. All right, this is them. They're really cute. They feel really soft. Ooh, they feel really soft. It has a very thick band. I got a Calvin Klein thong. Don't know why, I just saw it there and got it. I got these Confident Footsteps socks. I don't know, they had good reviews as well. I lose all of my socks. I'm always wearing socks that don't match. I don't know how, why, where, but I lose all of my socks. So this came with black and gray. I was really excited about these because these were rated best period panties and I'm like, okay, let's see what they're about. So if you're a guy watching this, I'm really sorry. This comes with five and it's $26. So the price was really great. These are like leak proof underwear. They have like this lining just on the center. It's a mesh, so it's really breathable. I have fallen in love with Thinks if you have heard of them and they are like period underwear and they're amazing. They're really, really, really expensive. They're worth it, but they're like, I think 30 to $40 a pair. Like they're really expensive. These are not supposed to be the same thing as Thinks. I don't think you can just wear these on your period. I don't think so. With Thinks, you can wear them and not use a tampon or a pad. They're really, really great. Look them up if you've never heard of them. But I wanted to get these for, you know, they're just leak proof. I mean, if you're a girl, you know what I'm saying. So more thongs. These are from Joe and Bet, and this came in a pack of five. I got these because they look like the hanky panky ones. Let me just pull up the price. They look like those, but they were a lot more affordable and I wanna see how they compare because they look very similar. So this is a pack, I'm sorry, of six. I can't count. It was $16.99. So 16 and 50 is a huge price jump. This is what these look like. They're really soft as well. They don't feel as thick on the band, but they do feel really soft. I really did not need this. I don't know why I purchased this, to be honest. I purchased, let me tell you how many come in here. There are 16 stainless steel straws in here. It has these little grips, I guess, on here as well. I, it's for you to sip out of. Maybe it's for kids. I don't know, I've never used those before. I only use metal, glass, straws. There you go, or at least at home I do. Sometimes you're out and you don't have it and you gotta use a plastic one. Don't judge me, I know y'all be doing it too. Girl, I was so excited about this. It's called a camera fan. Enjoy better life, enjoy a Luan personal fan. I don't know what a Luan means. This is a fan, like a little personal handheld fan. And I got this so I can speed dry my makeup. Emily and Gemma uses this the most, I feel like. And I was like, I need to just get it. And I saw her use it for like the millionth time. And I was like, I need this in my life. And I got the pink one. It's just a cute little handheld fan. And you can dry your makeup. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, I have speeds, cool. Two different speeds. While I was clearing out my bank account and just buying all of these things, I was like, you know what? Let me just see what people buy on Amazon. And I found this on an Amazon like article review of top things to purchase. And I was like, why not? And these are luxury bamboo bed sheets. Let me tell you how much these were because they were really inexpensive. I have purchased really expensive bamboo bed sheets and yes, they were soft. Were they worth it? No. I feel like my bed sheets always shrink. 
and I mean it's bed sheets and I also always usually do white sheets so they get dirty. Dude, well, where are these? Did I get them for free? They're not even on my order list. These were $42, which is really inexpensive for bamboo bed sheets. This is a four piece set, antimicrobial, eco-friendly, eco I can't talk, breathable, long lasting, wrinkle free. Raphael always gets hot at night and I'm always cold. So I feel like with these, since they are so breathable, at least the other bamboo sheets, he doesn't get as hot. Why can't I open these? Raphael, come help me open these. This is the moment of truth. These are, oh my God, these are so soft. Another purchase inspired by Emily and Gemma. This is a tongue scraper. Didn't know I needed one of these in my life. I've already used this one, but don't worry, I cleaned it. This is a game changer, okay? There's so much stuff that I guess is on your tongue that a toothbrush alone doesn't get off because I brush my tongue every single day. I felt like a new person after I did it. And I saw her talking about in her stories about how it was just life-changing and she didn't know she needed it. And I was like, uh, I guess I need it. They claim it helps with your taste buds, with bacteria, like everything. And like you can taste things better. But I feel like one of the biggest things is my mouth just felt cleaner and more fresh. This is surprisingly heavy. I got this because Ryan Potter has it and I texted him and I was like, what is that? I need it and I got it. And this actually came in today. Can you guess what it is? This is a two pack of LED floodlights. So I'm gonna use these maybe in the background of my YouTube videos or pictures or TikToks or whatever. They're dimmable and they have a lot of different colors and you can even mix colors. So I thought it would be cool for content and making tutorials and stuff and just different videos to have different colored lights in the background whenever I'm doing a studio setup. I thought they'd be really fun. I love upgrading and trying new things. It just makes my workspace feel fresh again and it makes me excited whenever I get new equipment because I love trying new stuff. So thanks for the suggestion, Ryan. I just dropped the remote. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, sh I might have just broke them. Raphael said, babe. Best Amazon purchase ever. You need this in your life. I don't know why I never had it. It makes me so happy. So I purchased a skylight, finally. I have seen them all over the internet, especially on TikTok, and I finally got one. It is so worth it. Right now we have it in the living room right against the TV backdrop where the wall is, and it gives you just this gorgeous array of constellations and stars and it's so relaxing. It would be perfect for any room, your bedroom, in the living room. It's just so beautiful. It is in stock. It says right now on April 18th, so you can buy it now, get on it, because they sell out all the time. I'll link it down below. I also purchased plate sets, and these plates and bowls and all the sets I got blew me away with how beautiful and cute they were. I'm gonna add little clips. I'm gonna go in the kitchen and add them for you guys so I don't bring them all upstairs. But the first set that I got has this like speckled cream and white top and then the bottom is this gray and it was 16 pieces and it was $57. Dinnerware can be so expensive. I usually go to Home Goods or TJ Maxx and I look to see what they have. But since we can't go anywhere right now, I wanted to order because we only had like one legit set of dinnerware and I purchased that from Crate and Barrel like two years ago and we usually only use it on special occasions so I wanted like an everyday, I didn't mind if I used it all the time kind of deal. The other set I got is gray with a gold little trim. It's a really cute accent and this also is a 16 piece set and it was only $48. I purchased three different cooking sets because this is another thing that I don't have and we would cook but we would like use pots and pans and things we've like gotten over the years from our parents or whatever they're really beaten up and I still kept some of them but I wanted to get like a legit new set especially because we have an island and a pantry and like this house is just awesome so this little guy I already had but I wanted another one and I just found out they have even smaller ones so I might eventually get one of those this is an electric lighter it is the coolest thing ever this is my first one that I bought my other one is still packaged up is downstairs this is what we use to light all of our candles so you just turn it on you can see it's charged and it makes this little noise and I love it so now we'll have one upstairs and one downstairs because I am a candle freak and I light candles everywhere all the time Speaking of candles, I got my first candle utensil set. I don't even know what it's called. This comes with this little thing. I think it's like to dig out the wick or something. And then it comes with a little 
the little bell, you smother the flame, and then it comes with what I really wanted, which is the wick trimmer. And I got the black set, came in this really cute box, and the trimmer has like a little scoop, like a little container vase bowl, I don't know thing. So when you cut the wick, it stays in place. It doesn't just like go anywhere. It's like a little dip to where it holds it. I got this 10 pack of crew socks from Hanes. I love really high white socks with workout shorts, with workout pants. I also might tie dye some of these because I bought some tie dye stuff. Oh my gosh, I just realized it's still in the garage. I need to go get it. But uh, I got a big pack of white socks. I'm a little out of breath because I had to go to the garage and open these. I got it. I purchased a tie dye set. Nicole Guerrero bought a tie dye set and sweatpants. So I bought a tie dye set and sweatpants. <laughs> She's been making the cutest little tie dye sets ever. So I got this cute tie dye set. I thought it would be a really fun arts and craft project to do. I also have another one I'm not gonna tell you guys about um, that we wanna do for that little extra room. We didn't know what we wanted to do. I'll talk about that later, I'm getting ahead of myself, like I always do. I've only tie-dyed things a few times ever in my life, so I'm gonna have to watch some tutorials because I want it to be legit. I think this was the most expensive sweatshirt out of everything I got, and I purchased it because the reviews were good and the like Hanes or Fruit of the Loom was gonna take forever. So I got this large white sweatshirt. I thought it'd be super comfy and cute. This is from Hanes. I got a white t-shirt and this is a large as well. Maybe I'll crop it. Maybe I'll wear it as a sleep shirt. I love just big comfy sleep shirts. This is the beefy Hanes top and I got a medium. And these, I don't know what beefy means, but I guess they're just supposed to be bigger. It is pretty wide. I also got a beefy black tee. I'm not going to tie dye this, but I'm going to bleach dye it, bleach tie dye it if you catch my drift. I bought so many towels. I don't know why I bought so many towels. I'm gonna include a clip of like our little towel closet. I purchased this particular towel style in white, gray, and cream. I thought this would be cute for more like decorative towels. I love the idea of decorative towels, but usually they're not soft and like when you're brushing your teeth and you wanna like wipe your mouth or you wash your hands and you want to dry your hands they just feel kind of weird does that make sense to me they do anyway so i thought these might be a little bit more practical but still cute but uh yeah i bought a lot of towels late at night when we first moved in don't know why so that is everything for my amazon haul i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want more videos like this please give it a thumbs up and let me know down below also let me know if any of you have picked up a new hobby or any tips for getting through this time whether you're working or not i know all of us are dealing with a hard time in our own way whether you're out working every day or you're at home you know we're all struggling with our own things so just know that this is your personal journey and no one can tell you how to feel or if you know you're not doing enough or you're doing too much you know your body and you know yourself so just listen to yourself and be kind to yourself because this is a very difficult time i hope you got to escape a little bit and have some fun watching this haul and just you know pretending like things are normal for a little bit but i love you guys so much i'm sending you so much love and I will see you guys in my next video. Leave me any requests down below. All right, bye guys.